It's still an XL time. Mama, it's still an XL time. Back, it's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. I'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 159. It's another three way lookup. All right, uh, today's question sent in by YouTube Is there a way to do a three way lookup for all the months? So we have this property here in the section. We need to go find that information and then return the right month. And really important, there are no duplicate records. All right, well, while they're asking for a lookup, I think that this, because there are no duplicates, uh, can easily be solved with the new sum ifs, sum ifs formula. So what's the sum range? The sum range is this range down here, and we're going to press F4 one, two times to lock the rows down, but not the columns. That way, as we drag across, it will be adding up a different set of columns. So in other words, the third part of the three-way lookup, the month, will just happen automatically as we copy the columns across. And then criteria range one, look through all of these properties over here, and this will be F4 single time. See if it is equal to the property. I'll press F4 one, two, three times, so we always reach back to column A. Could have just as easily have been uh, F4 once, and then we'll look through the sections, F4, and see if it's equal to section AA, and again, F4 one, two, three times to lock down just column B. All right, closing parenthesis, get our answer of 165, and there it is, highlighted in red. We'll copy that across, and no need to worry about that third lookup because as we copy it across, it automatically points to a new set of columns. So here we're pulling data from column D and data from column E. Really important that we didn't have a dollar sign there before that E, that way the uh, column changes as we copy across. All right, Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, some ifs to do this lookup when there's no duplicates. I love it. I also love it because that some ifs will be a little bit faster calculating than the lookup method I'm going to use here. Hey, I'm going to go straight for the D functions. D, and I'm going to use the D get function. That can look something up. Hey, we have a proper data set right here with field names at the top. So we'll give it the whole data set all the way down, F4 to lock it, comma, the field. That means within this table, which field do we want to go get the thing from? Relative cell reference, comma, and then the criteria. Because we have field name and our criteria below, we're allowed to use this function. That means it has to find this and that in the same row. So I highlight the field names and the criteria, F4, close parenthesis, that will work. Control Enter and copy it and drag it over. I go to the last cell, F2. It's looking good. Now, if I go and change this to property one, oh, I get a value error because I have to go ahead and change both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and add an if error, if error value. That'll be the D get. Come right to the end, comma, and then the value I want to display if there's an error, double quote, double quote. Hey, that is a zero length text string that will display nothing. Control Enter, copy it over. Now let's go ahead and try that again. Property 2, and I'm going to do property 2 section. 11, and there we go. Now, I like the sum ifs better because the D get will calculate a little bit faster. All right, throw it back to Mr. Excel. Hey, wow, Mike, I figured you're going to do a uh, crazy array formula there, but D get, how old school is that? Uh, D get certainly works in this case if mit rom or mit uh, really just has one set of things to return, but I was afraid that you know they would want to copy that down and deget, unless we're using a data table, is not going to work. Ah, now let's see. You said uh, that it would be faster to use some ifs instead of deget. Uh, let's see what happens. Charles Williams here. Now let's see how those solutions stack up using Fast Excel. All right, so here we are on the uh, Fast Excel V3. I went into manual calculation mode, and we're going to try the sum ifs. We'll recalc the range, 0 0.182, 0 0.182 milliseconds. We'll try a couple times, 0.225, and calc range 0.19. So right around 0.2 milliseconds, and then we'll try the D get. See how much slower that is than the sum ifs. We'll 
calc the range. Oh, hey, 0.358, so almost twice as fast or twice as long to calculate 0.35. Uh, but really, in this case, if there's just six of them, uh, 0.2 milliseconds versus 0.345 milliseconds, uh, really, it's a virtual tie. Although, if we had thousands of them, uh, that would be wild. Mike, I love the DGET. Uh, it's great to be back doing Dueling Excel podcasts again. And I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. And Excel is fun. It's Dueling Excel time.